I went to a, like a, a queer only event a couple months ago and I couldn't tell you how, uns- like, oh, sorry, I, I could tell you <laughs> how unsafe I felt. I felt so uncomfortable. I felt so unsafe. And the irony- Unsafe meaning what was unsafe? Uh, unsafe in terms of being grabbed on the ass um, and being watched. It's, it's, it's terribly uncomfortable. Right. And like, I guess the dramatic irony is that like, I, I once, you know, I experienced great community at, at the church in school and after school. And I experienced great sense of community in the gym that I go to in Rose Bay with a bunch of straight boys. Um, and I just have never felt that sense of community within the community. Right. And, and what I mean by that is like um, people that have your back, people that have your best interests at heart, people that want you to succeed and thrive. And I feel like it's the complete opposite. The experience that I experience, I'm, I'm speaking purely for me, is people just don't want the best for you. People um, are trying to either spread gossip, create gossip, fuck your boyfriend, fuck your ex-boyfriend, um, and badmouth you. Every bit of online hate I've ever received has been from a gay man. I, I've never received hate from a woman, which is the majority of my following. My, fo- my following's majority women, like 70, 70, 75%. Every time I get critiqued, criticism, hate, it's always from a gay man. What are they saying? Oh, they're commenting on my looks, how I talk, uh, my opinion, um, whatever. Mm. Yeah. Um, Where does that come from, do you think? Oh, I, I mean, f- to psychoanalyze it, I think it's projection, sure. Um, but I find that really sad. I find that really sad that we don't want to, as a community, boost one another up. I, I don't see that. I mean, do you? I don't know if you want to share that. But. Yeah, I mean, there there is a, I mean, there, yes, some of the worst, some of the most sexist and like, deranged offensive people I've ever met are gay guys. They can be catty and horny and bitter. But at the same time, I wonder whether or not, I mean, that's coming from obviously a place of some sort of trauma and that's coming from a community normalization of ways of dealing with that trauma that are used to use humor and promiscuity and drugs to, you know, to solve whatever injury there is, whatever emotional injury exists there. Um, I mean, it, the impediment to the white picket fence that you wanted when you thought that you were going to get married is partly that trauma and then partly, I mean, I thought you were going to say that one of the things about Mardi Gras is it does continue to promote the idea that gayness is a very different and distinct thing that that is worth turning the volume up on that and i think it's uh, sorry all these people are fabulous like i i there's this isn't a uh, well not all of them a lot of sorry them sorry yeah uh, yeah um this isn't a critique on uh femininity or expressiveness i think all of that is excellent and great and um though it does perpetuate the narrative that gays must be and do the most to be valid in this community. And I just, is this not enough? Mm. Is my pedestrian ordinary self not enough to be valid? Or do I need to have a, are we playing a numbers game? of how A many, few sequins how, or, or how many people I can sleep with? Right. Um, or how many drugs can I take? It's, it's incredibly competitive. And um, I, I've, I've kind of given up and I, I heard a story last week and I, I, I'm, I'll, I heard a story last week of someone um, and I was so let down. This is Sydney gay. I was so let down by, by like what I'd heard. I didn't want to do it anymore. I, I, I almost like, I'm, fuck this, I'm celibate. Like, I, I'm like- What were you hearing? I, I, something that they had done to their boyfriend um, involving someone else, and I and I and from my perspective, I was like, they're supposed to be one of the good ones. They're the, they're one of the people that I thought was like a a good person in this mix. And I I was so disgusted and disheartened by that. I was like, oh, what the fuck is going on? Pull your head in. And were they telling you out of a sense of pride? Yeah. Like here's what I was Boasting. able to get away with. Boasting. And oh, I was like, fuck this. I, I like I, I was so mad, and I was. Oh, fuck, man. Like, 
I, I think because it's such a um, concentrated group of people, right? If you look at the hetero world who make up 90% or whatever the current statistic is of people, you have that blend of light and dark. And I'm sure this happens in the straight world. But when you have such a mix, uh, sorry, when a con so concentrated mix, um, I, I want to be proven wrong. Sounds like you're just hanging out with the wrong groups again. <laughs> no, I, I do. I do my own. Come to my place and there are six-year-old <laughs> twins playing. Very with, wholesome. Uh, very, yeah, very wholesome. Very boring. <laughs> I love it. Boring. 